for the 33rd Assembly District. Uh, I represent uh, areas in Queens, uh, known as Cambria Heights, Queens Village, St. Albans, Hollis, Bellrose, and Floral Park. Um, and there are a few people that I want to recognize in here, but before we go into that, I want to talk about why we are here, why we are here today, and, um, and we're going to go and, and talk about our goals for the day and for what we're going to try to get uh, tonight. So today we're going to talk about wealth. We're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about economics. We're going to talk about legacy. Unfortunately, as people of color, we're afraid to talk about money. We get uncomfortable when we talk about wealth. If we look at the statistics, I looked at um, the national statistics. Do you know what the average net worth is for an African-American family in this country? First of all, it is less than 10% of the average white net worth. The average net worth for the black, an African-American family as of last year was about $4,000. Net worth, what's your worth? Not your salary, right? And we're going to talk about the difference between income and worth, right? Net worth. So that's part of the reason why we're here. We have to talk about what are you worth, not how much money you make. What's your net worth? As a matter of fact, I'm the new assemblyman in this area. We find that, unfortunately, when we pass, we leave our family with debt, Right? When we pass, we figure out how to bury our loved one. On the other hand, folks leave their families with wealth. So we have to have this conversation and we cannot be afraid to address this. Now, I have to tell you, a couple of weeks ago, when I heard the story of OJ, when, when Jay-Z's song, or when Jay-Z's album dropped, that gave that had a, an effect on me, and for a lot of people, right? Right now, and we, we're going to play some of the stuff there, right? When Jay Z talked about legacy, he talked about passing wealth to the next generation. He talked about building wealth, buying some buying investments that appreciate, and we're going to go over that. So the format today, but there are a lot of things to do when we talk about wealth, there are a lot of things that we can go over. We can have a workshop right now about credit. We can have a workshop about how to save money and how to build money. We can, have, we can talk about um, investment. But part of, the, part of the major issue is most of us don't believe we can do it. Most of us are afraid to even get started. It's true. So, so we have to make sure. So part of what we're going to do is, sometimes they say that when you see it, we're having technical difficulties, please stand by. <laughs> but when you see it, if you can see yourself doing it, you can see that it's possible. So today, we're going to hear stories from four ultra-successful Entrepreneurs and business people. Notice how I didn't say black entrepreneurs and business people. They are on top of their game, doesn't matter the color. But we're going to ask them, and these are all running multi million dollar businesses, and we're going to ask them about different aspects. But we have, so we have two people from, that are music moguls that aren't just doing music, they're also doing philanthropy and business. We have a, someone that, that went from an, an actress who's still doing that and building a major uh, beauty and skin uh, empire. We have one of the biggest developers in the Northeast. Usually, when's the last time you met a developer? We usually don't see these folks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, but we're gonna learn. But we're gonna learn that 
one thing, you know, one thing I, you know, one thing that's interesting, and I'm, I don't want to talk too much. One thing that's interesting is that, again, I'm in politics now. I'm in Albany. I'm a black legislator, and they expect me to be in certain kind of meetings. I'm not supposed to talk about money. I'm not supposed to be in the wealth business, the wealth meetings, or the wealth uh, related uh, committees. So we have to kind of change that because we are owners, right? We are business people and we can build. So 